Hi dolls. As it is nearly my favorite time of year, I thought I'd make a special Halloween custom Barbie to share with you all. While it is certainly not the most original, I wanted to take the concept of a 50s dominatrix devil and put my own spin on it. The head I am using is a Mackie Barbie doll. I think it'll work well for this project, as I want this doll to look mischievous, yet friendly. For the hair, I will use this factory roll of platinum hair. I want my doll to have Betty Page bangs, so I will start by cutting the bangs a little. Then, using this curler, I will hold the bangs in place. And I cut the rest of the hair. And I set it aside while I start on her face up. I begin by contouring with a toe pressed big wind. Then I go in with a black big wind and I blend it upwards to give her a dark smoky eye. Then I start drawing in her eye shape. I want her to have red eyes, so I start by filling in the shape with a pink. I will go in later and darken them accordingly. Then I go in with red to intensify the eye. With looks like these, it's easy to make a character look intimidating, which I guess in some ways is what I aimed for, but I still wanted to make sure I kept her looking somewhat playful in her expression. That's why I went for the upward facing eyes and a light arch in the brow. For the lips, I first outlined them in red and filled them in. To achieve a bleached brow look, I went in with a mixture of light earthy tones. To give her eyelids some dimension, I went in with a metallic gold acrylic paint and painted the inner corner. Because this is such a small head, you'll often see me go in with different colors to correct what I just did. In this case, I went in with black to make sure the gold wasn't taking too much space. After that, I paint her lips red with acrylic paint. Because the eyebrows weren't giving what was needed, I ultimately decided to go in with acrylic to make them pop. Finally, I added patch lights using white acrylic. Next, I gloss her using glossy varnish. Now back to the hair. Her bangs are obviously not where they need to be, so I cut them until I reach the desired length. Then, once I am happy with them, I lay them down relatively flat by bending a duckbill clip around her forehead and forcing them to go down. I just realized how wrong that sounded, I'm so sorry. Then, I sprayed them with hairspray. 
and I hit them with the blow dryer for a few seconds. Time to work on the horns. I first section the hair where I want the horns to sit. I did mine right at the sides of the head. Then I take two pins and I push them out from the inside of the head. This will be the skeleton for her horns. I used milliput to sculpt them. I mixed equal parts of A and B. And I slowly build the horns onto the armature. Milliput has a tendency to crack if handled for too long, so I go in with water to smooth it out. While they dry, let's work on the outfit. Her outfit consists of a tight leather skirt and a bra. For the skirt, I cut it right below the knee. For the bra, I cut two rounded triangles that would fit her bust, and I cut two small triangles in the middle of them. I start by hemming the skirt. Then I put in an invisible zipper in the back. I wish I could give you guys more details about the process, but I feel like it would just make it more confusing, I'm sorry. For the bra cups, I fold each of them down the middle, right sides together, and I sew it closed. Then I take the two cups, and sew where I want them to meet. Then I sew the cups to a narrow strip of fabric. Then I simply added shoulder straps and hook an eye in the back. Now back to the horns. I perfect the shape by first shaving off any harsh edges. And to make it smooth, I go over them with sandpaper. Then I painted them with acrylic paint. I wanted them to look like they were made of latex, for that I used epoxy resin. I mixed the two parts with some black acrylic, and I painted on. And with the remaining epoxy, I went over the shoes to tie the whole outfit together. Lastly, I glued on some strap lashes. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below what your plans for Halloween are this year. Are you guys going trick or treating? Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Wonderland. Thank you for following and happy Halloween.